Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode. Uh, unfortunately, our country is on lockdown today, so there's really nothing much to do at home, and I'm going slightly mad. But just a little while ago, the, I don't know how, the courier guy just showed up with a new rock that I had ordered some time ago. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about that and feeling pretty good. Lockdown, I'm doing an unboxing of a rock that I've been waiting for. Probably about a month, it's taken forever to get here with all the issues in the country and all everything. So, yeah, let's get right to it. Alright guys, so it is... Uh, man, these guys have used tons of tape. Uh, by the way, I got this uh, rod from Jig and Pop. Um, I think their website is jigandpop.com. Um, and they have a whole bunch of, bunch of uh, LS black hole rods. So, I'll, I'll leave a link down in the uh, description below. So you guys can check it out yourselves. See. These don't be damaged. This is the time that usually when I'm unboxing the car. I'm most nervous because I'm always worried about you know, uh, the rod being damaged uh, while, in, while in transit. And this is, uh, how much did I pay for this? About $215, so it's not, it's not super cheap. Okay. Usually I'm always worried about the guides <coughs> because that's usually what tends to get damaged. While in, uh, while in transit. You see that it's coming the usual Suzuki power. By the way, this is a 10, 10 foot guys. I already have uh, the 10 6, sorry, the 9 6 version, and I absolutely love that rod. It's a super uh, light and strong rod. Amazing blank. Uh, good backbone on it. So, I wanted to go for the 10 foot because in certain areas that we fish, I would like to use a lighter rod than my 10th century. Uh, in some places, we don't need too much distance. Wow. Yeah, it's. <coughs> it's a nice rod. Like I say, it's just like the 96. And. Uh, Super light guys, super light. This is, a, this is a 10 foot rod. The weight of this I think was uh, about 10 ounces. So, okay, good. Stick around. Let's uh, have a closer look at this rod and see what makes it tick. guys so just to wrap up this unboxing um, I would highly recommend you check this rod out if you're looking for a lightweight strong uh, surf rod um, they have this both in 9 6 and 10 foot I have both of them now I just got the 10 footer I've been using the 9, nine 6 for a while now for about a year now and I absolutely love it that's why I went for the 10 footer 
Um, but yeah, this for the, for the price, this is an, an excellent, excellent blank. It's very sensitive, super light, and you can customize with it. Don't forget to like the video, guys, and subscribe to our channel. We thank you so much for your support. We hope to do more unboxings in the weeks to come, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and you stay tuned. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next episode. Take care and stay safe.